some Halo Infinite leaks have been circulating around the internet. In this video, we're going to be talking about some multiplayer leaked images and Halo Infinite toys confirming the banished. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news informational video. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the video and channel get more eyes on the skies, keep more people in the know of everything going on with Halo. So without further ado, let's jump right into the content here. Now we've been seeing a few leaks essentially of Halo Infinite's information on what's going to be in the game, what the art style is going to be like, mainly through toy reveals as there's been, you know, conventions and things like that been going on. And different toy companies want to show off their new products to get people excited for people to buy them, obviously. And so we haven't really seen much in the way of things coming straight from 343, but more through these toys. We have one major toy reveal, and I would show this on screen, but I've been hearing a lot of people saying they've been getting strikes on their channels, which if you get three strikes, you're out. So trying to avoid that but i will describe in best details possible for you guys so we'll start off with the more confirmed stuff and then we'll go into the later possible fake but also potentially leaked information with multiplayer i also want to state that none of this has been officially confirmed but this has been circulating through the internet i've been kind of late on this because i want to make sure this is something worth talking about because we're getting to that point of the year where we start seeing leaks and information kind of pop up here and there and people want to just get information you know clicks and stuff like that and i want to make sure the stuff that i share on this channel is something that's worth talking about and i think what i found here is something worth talking about so first let's jump into these new toys which confirm the banished and an armor set from halo reach let's get right into this so like again i can't show you the image guys but basically the first one we're looking at here is a brute and the way that the whole box is set up it has halo infinite written on the top right corner there's a picture of a brute holding like a shotgun version of a you know brute shot kind of looking thing it's kind of hard to confirm but basically it looks like a shotgun has a nice little handle on there and it has a kind of an underblade or like you'd see for the brute shot and uh, the colors that you see for this brute has been kind of almost like it looks almost like a samurai really which looks pretty damn awesome using the crimson red colors that we know of the banished the name of the toy is the brute warrior so i'm sure if you guys type in halo infinite brute warrior toy you'll find images pretty quickly about this thing it's kind of going all over the internet again i would show this but i don't want my channel to get striked so that's a problem right there so we've been seeing hints of uh, the banish being implemented into halo infinite as the most recent halo game halo wars 2 did feature the banished as the main uh, villains in the series also taking part on the uh, installation zero zero as well and so this could be highly possible as we do know that aatrox is still out there causing some havoc the other toy that's been leaked out is a spartan using a gun near armor set which was previously in halo reach we do know there are some ties to reach when it might come to halo infinite as we did see chief using the reach assault rifle there's a book coming out just months before the release of Halo Infinite called the Shadows of Reach which are taking place on that planet as well you can see in the art style of the new Master Chief armor and also the new armor sets for uh, Blue Team as well interesting thing he's holding a kind of looks like a almost like a mauler kind of looking weapon obviously it's not the mauler but it looks maybe like a UNC UNSC version of one which is pretty interesting as well uh, but again, we don't really know much about it, but if you type in Spartan Gun near Halo Infinite Toy on Google search, I'm sure you'll find it so you guys get a chance to look at it as well. Now, I've also heard that people have run these images through some kind of uh, photo editing software to make sure if these are real. They aren't detected as edited, so these could be very realistic, essentially confirming brutes, at least, in Halo Infinite. Now the second half of this video, I'm gonna dissect some multiplayer screenshot leaks that could possibly be real. We don't know because obviously these haven't officially been confirmed, but we'll check it out right here. So the first shot, you can see it's pretty blurry, some shaky cam stuff happening here. And I find it so odd that, you know, we have, everyone has smartphones nowadays and they're pretty high quality and this is what we get. Uh, we do get some better shots later on though, but you can kind of see just like a blurry image. It looks like an assault rifle and some Spartans fighting against each other. Uh, if we go into the second image here, you can see a much clearer image of kind of the same thing as well. It looks very Forerunner kind of aspect to it, like a red and a blue team. Kind of looks odd that this, if this would be even like a actual gameplay, because not very often you see this many uh, players grouped up into such a small space only one like this and if you kind of review the two shots together they're the exact same shot 
but just at different angles on the screen. So this possibly makes me think this might be like a screenshot from like theater or something like that. Or it's definitely not live gameplay. Let's at least probably say that much. You can see a very forerunner like uh, we'll also get in the later how these looks like actually some content that was taken from Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. We can kind of do some uh, analysis from a Reddit user that was shown here. Uh, we go into the next screenshot here you can see a close-up of a sparring again it's very blurred out uh very saturated overly saturated uh but you can see a spartan shooting at you or probably the guy that's in front of him again very blurry uh grainy <laughs> very washed out so kind of hard to tell the difference what's what really um uh, we can kind of make out their spartan armor a little bit there as well we go into another one a much clearer image and uh people are saying this is like a respawn kind of overlay I don't know because uh, it'd be very odd for looks like the same kind of scene that these uh, screenshots or these phone pictures are taken of uh, to be the respawning kind of visual because they got these hexagons on the going on. It could be like a shield flare kind of thing going on that you to get some kind of visual confirmation of where you're getting shot from. That could be interesting. Uh, you can also get a much clearer image of the assault rifle that's being used right here. Again, it kind of lines up to what we saw with the Halo Reach assault rifle uh, visuals when it comes to the uh, toy announcement for Nerf and also the uh, Discover Hope trailer, which also showed the Halo Reach assault rifle in there on top of that. Uh, you also get a much better image of the Spartan armor. You get kind of a, you know, obviously a washout of this red guy here. And the blue side guy you can see in the background, uh, obviously it's grainy, but you can kind of make it out a little bit better there. You can kind of tell it kind of matches within the art style of what we saw from Master Chief in the uh, Discover Hope trailer. Now a Reddit user of Mighty Boy, which I will have it on the screen right here, you can see where I was talking about how this looks like it's a ripped from Halo 2 Anniversary. As you can see, the environment that these guys are fighting in matches almost exactly not one for one but basically exactly what was seen in cea this looks like a portion of like the underground tunneling that's on installation 04 the first uh halo ring we landed on which could make sense as we do know that uh 343 is looking to heavily influence halo infinite based off of combat evolved experience so it'd be really cool to return back to some older environments with a new fresh coat of paint new purpose and things like that uh this is being repurposed for a multiplayer thing which is kind of crazy to see that this almost exact one-to-one -one geometry being repurposed for multiplayer uh, so that's certainly something to take in consideration there and these screenshots are kind of comparing and contrasting what we saw of the HUD overlay in the Discover Hope trailer and what we see in these screenshots. And you can kind of see that, yeah, they line up pretty similar to what we're seeing uh, for these two. So very well done if these are fake to copy and paste these two together. Uh, they didn't mention about the assault rifle reticle you can see in the lower left hand corner has an extra like uh, bubble around it for extra lines. Maybe that might help with red reticle range kind of. Uh, acquisitioning when it comes to targets and stuff like that. Um, again, they mentioned about the blue hexagons when it comes to respawn, not previously seen, but of course we don't really can't confirm that it isn't even a respawn. Though you can see that there are clear similarities between the HUD overlay that we see when it comes to these leaked images and what we saw in the Discover Hope trailer. Like I mentioned earlier, the armor sets kind of line up as in those similar kind of art styles. You can see the leaked image of the Spartan that was jumping up compared to the Discover Hope trailer armor set, and you can see that the do match up rather similarly. Mighty Boy brings up the feet basically being an exact replica of what we're seeing previously and also yeah I hate to point this out but the cod piece that lines up too as uh, being very similar in that style as well. The Mighty Boy does take note to saying this is an unknown armor set that we see in the leaked image not Mark 7 possibly seen before in a different game but you know, we do know there's gonna be reach level of customization in Halo Infinite. So this could be one of the default sparrings you might pop up with when it comes to playing the multiplayer. And more comparing and contrasting of the weapon that we're seeing that the assault rifle in the leaked image pretty much lines up exactly to what we're seeing from what the Halo Reach uh, assault rifle is. And we do not have it absolutely confirmed, but we do see the nerf toy that was released for Halo Infinite. That assault rifle looks awfully like the Halo Reach one. We do have some hints of Halo Infinite, at least the story going before the events of Halo Infinite happening on Reach. And uh, we did see in the Discover Hope trailer that this looks a lot like the Halo Reach Assault Rifle. And in that leaked image, 
they pretty much line up to what we've been seeing previously. I mean, this is a near one-to-one -one replica of what we see in Reach and then this leaked image for Halo Infinite. As you can see, even like the little nuts and bolts are exactly the same place as we saw in Reach with this uh, leaked image. So certainly interesting to keep note of. So what are your guys' thoughts on these potentially leaked images of Halo Infinite? We didn't have a 343 leak previously way, way back in the day with Halo 4, which looked like it was a grainy picture taken apparently from a barn that that ended up being realistic and that ended up being a real leaked image uh, as we get closer to june which i'm assuming we'll have some big uh halo xbox event coming around there these leaks will start coming up so tis the season really again like i said none of this has been officially confirmed but we have seen leaks coming out for the toy reveals as well as the nerf weapons that we saw for halo infinite that these line up rather perfectly and it I almost want to believe that these are actual images. Again, it seemed like a bit of a still frame from the gameplay on the screen that somebody was taking with us with their camera phone. It could very much be our first actual leaks of Halo Infinite. And we do have some more leaks that I didn't want to get into because I didn't want this video to be 30 minutes long, but it has some story gameplay details as well, which we'll make in our next Halo video. So if you guys want to watch that one, make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. Keep yourself up to date with everything going on in the Halo news and Halo Infinite coming together for you guys. What are your thoughts on these leaked images? Do you think they're real? Do you think they're faked? You know, let me know in the comment section down below. I want to believe them. I really do. They're not confirmed, but uh, I think this is getting, you know, to the point where we would start seeing some leaks coming out, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed this video, guys. If you missed any content from me, check out the videos on the screen over here. Got for my all my other news information update videos. We've been out of the loop for the last few weeks or so. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.